In this video, I explore the phenomena of the 5 a.m. morning routine and its benefits to see if this is something I would like to add to my daily routine. Why am I up? There's nothing more that I want to do right now than go back to sleep. But we're up, so let's get it. What's the coincidence of that? You guys, I feel so good right now. It's 6.44 a.m. The girl woke up, went to the gym. That's all I've done today. Wow! I'm gonna go home now and juice some juice. I went to the grocery store yesterday and I bought a bunch of like fruits and vegetables. Last night I washed my hair and I don't know what intrusive thoughts went through my head. I decided to cut myself like front facing like layers. Girl, what is this? I'm like, what is this? <laughs> no, I'm embarrassed. But yeah, what a great start to my day. We're not a, a written thing, you know? We can change things around for ourselves and I want you to have that belief and I want you to know that it can happen. this shirt i thrifted it but look how cool it is and i'm just wearing yoga pants because today is upper body day i don't even know how i have the energy to talk right now but let's get it i'm back from the gym and it's true what they say you're not gonna regret the workout but you're gonna regret not going congratulations congratulations because Today's workout was fire. I feel so good right now. Like, I had a really good workout, and then I think it also helps because I go with my sister, so it's like we catch up in the morning, we chat, we work out together. Anyways, time to make breakfast. I don't care what anyone says, but I could eat potatoes for the rest of my life. Like, potatoes are so good, and they have so much variety, like curly fries, regular fries, breakfast potatoes. Like, you cannot tell me that potatoes aren't, like, diverse. <laughs> Okay, let's do a little recap on how I feel. Actually, let me talk about yesterday. Yesterday, I almost took a nap. Like midday, I laid in bed and um, I was doing work on my bed. Like I had my laptop, but I was really tempted to take a nap. But then I told myself, like, what is the point of waking up early if you're gonna nap during the day? Anyways, I was like, if you're gonna do this, like, commit to it. So I didn't end up taking a nap and then I just went throughout the rest of my day, which was fine. I ended up falling asleep around like 10 p.m. And then today I set my alarm for 4.30. And then I remember one time I was watching this podcast by Mel Robbins and she was talking about the five second rule. So the whole point is that you don't allow your brain to procrastinate or convince yourself to do something else or to put it off. So if your alarm goes off, instead of sitting in bed and thinking like, oh, I'm sleepy, I want to stay in bed, I want to go back to sleep don't let your brain think hear the alarm think five four three two one and get up within those five seconds so today when i woke up i was like five four three two one and i got out of bed then i brushed my teeth put my workout clothes on and i was out the door and i feel like that was helpful like not allowing myself to lay in bed because what's an extra 10 or 15 minutes gonna do for me the chances are i might go back to sleep i might turn off the alarm and i won't get up and then i'll be mad later on so yeah but i would say it feels really good waking up in the morning like i feel pretty productive like i wake up and i have like an agenda and i go ahead and do it and it kind of makes you feel like cool that like not a lot of people are up at this time so it makes me feel like the world is empty does that make sense like it makes it feel like the world is mine anyways i have my planner here and i'm gonna write down my to-do list essentially for the day i mean i have a list of things that i need to get done in general that i've been putting off but i like writing down daily tasks because i like the feeling of crossing them off 
so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now i also like having a to-do list because when i don't know what to do or like once i complete a task i look at what's next instead of like lingering around thinking of what to do because if i let myself decide what to do i'm not doing chores i'm gonna go watch tv i'm gonna sit down and scroll on tiktok writing it down keeps me accountable so yeah Okay, it is 7 47 p.m. and I know that's really early to go to sleep but but if I'm waking up around 4 30 a.m. it only makes sense to go to bed by 8 or 9 p.m. because that's the only way I'll actually get a full like eight hours of sleep and hopefully that way I'm not like extremely tired throughout the day because the whole point of waking up at 5 a.m. isn't to cut myself short of sleep if it's to be up early and be productive during like the prime hours of my day so far I would say the hardest thing about waking up in the morning is realizing like it's dark outside so like my brain is programmed to think like it's dark I should be sleeping right now and it's not even that I usually wake up late but for the most part I wake up around 7 or 8 a.m. and at that time at least the sun has risen <laughs> you know it's not like pitch black outside but yeah I will say though going to the gym at 5 a.m. and the gym being like mainly empty or full of other people that are also waking up early and just want to get shit done feels really good and it's motivating seeing everyone else around you like putting in work so it makes you want to put in work so yeah, um, I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll see you in the morning again. I'm looking for sweatpants in the laundry that's been sitting in my dryer for like the past week, but found them. <laughs> I left my car unlocked last night. I'm making breakfast right now, but I'm telling you guys, if you're ever sad, start making like a routine for yourself that like you kind of force yourself to do it the earth is so beautiful and i don't know it just makes me so happy to like watch sunrises and it's like the feeling of like walking out of the gym and seeing the sunrise is so like satisfying like it just makes me so happy the other day i was scrolling on tiktok um and i saw a quote that said i like to think of life as if i ask to be brought back into the universe and relive and experience every laughter every sunrise everything over and over again so it's kind of like being more appreciative of like the little things and yeah i just feel like our mind is very strong and it can convince us to feel certain things and when you create routine or structure you're able to like grasp more control of your life I also peep my shirt it says animal because today at the gym i was an animal Okay, so I'm out the shower and I'm gonna do my skincare. I feel like my skin's been really dry lately, but also it's like freezing where I live. I'm gonna go on with the glow recipe. I actually really like this moisturizer. Okay, while that dries, I'm gonna go over my to-do list. I feel like my to-do list is like never ending. It's like, <laughs> why do I have to do this? You know that TikTok that goes, but I'm just a girl. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. I also got a ticket, a parking ticket the other day. $60 parking ticket just because I parked somewhere for like five minutes. I always shave my eyebrow with this little razor and it's so easy. Like I literally just have this in my desk and every once in a while when I remember, I shape up my brows. I haven't put on makeup in like days. And I'm so excited. I'm just gonna put a little bit on, maybe just some like concealer and a little bit of like contour. I think after I eat breakfast, I'm gonna go to the library because there's a book that I wanna read. I started reading it like two months ago and I didn't finish it because honestly, it's a really hard read and I feel like it's a long book. My time renting it at the library was up. So I was like, okay, let me go bring it back. I think it'll be a really good thing to add to my night routine. Like instead of laying in bed on my phone right when I go to sleep, I could read a book and maybe that'll put me to sleep fast because i think a reason why i also don't fall asleep as early as i want to is because i'm a victim to tiktok and i'll scroll there for a couple hours right now they're going in on on hayley on tiktok the hayley selena and justin drama and i'm eating it up 
eating it up like isn't it crazy how they broke up years ago and people still talk about it but team selena so I'm on my way to Barnes & Noble because I called my local bookstore and they said that the book I want to read won't be available for a month and it's on hold for someone else and I was like, damn it. But then I told myself like, you kind of want the book anyway so I might as well just buy it so I can write in it. So I'm driving to Barnes & Noble now to go pick out this book. And you know what songs been stuck in my head all day? I don't speak dog ho. I don't care what no say. I got condos in that bitch head. Anyways, we're basically here because I live really close to a Barnes & Noble. Book warm, smart girl, smart gal. Hey, watch out what you got. I'm deciding between these two books now. This is the one I came for, but I also heard this one's really good. And it's a little bit smaller. It's like half the size, so I'm leaning towards this one. I was driving home and I saw this park near me and it's so pretty. So I think I'm going to sit here and read for a bit. Good morning. So I did my regular morning routine and then I started making my potatoes for breakfast. And I realized that I don't have oil or like seasoning like i'm out of it so i'm gonna go head to the grocery store right now and grab it because i'm starving and i'm kind of sad that i can't make my potatoes right now but yeah let's go your total is 56 Where I live, there's like amenities and they have like a library or like a study area. So I think I'm gonna go there today so I can try to get more work done because I feel like if I change my environment from like working from my apartment versus working from like the study area while everyone else is working, I think I'll be more like productive. I don't have like spray to spray the pan sheet, so I'm gonna just rub some oil in it. My phone was right under my pillow, so when my alarm went off, it was like boom, 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 like right in my ear. So, yeah. I was planning on finishing my workout in the sauna, but when I went, there was like three people in there and <laughs> like naked, like why are you naked? So I was like, I'm not going in there. So then I just left, which kind of sucks because that would have felt really good. Plus I need to wash my hair anyway. But yeah, it's 6.35 a.m. right now. I'm gonna go home, make breakfast. I have a work meeting and then I'm gonna wash my hair. And I'm sure there's other things I need to get done, but that's like at the top of my head right now. Also, at the gym today, there was like some guy playing like loud as music. I had my headphones on and I turned noise canceling on and I could still hear the music. And I was like, what the heck? Like, and he had like a speaker. And it's one thing if it was good music. It was so annoying. Like, do you own the gym? <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Okay, this is future me realizing that I never closed the video off. So here I am. And it's actually pretty good because now it's been about like two, three weeks since I filmed this video. And I have stayed consistent waking up, not like every single day, like there's some days that I wake up like at 6.30 or there's like weekends where I sleep in. But anyways, let's get into the benefits. Okay, the number one benefit is that you have quality time for yourself. So I don't know if you're on TikTok as much as I am, but I keep seeing the 5 to 9 before my 9 to 5, which is basically like my morning routine before I go to work. So the whole point of a 5 to 9 is to make it seem like you have more control of your life because you're waking up to do something that you want to do or something that you set out for yourself as opposed to waking up to clock in for work or, or as opposed to waking up because you need to go to school. So waking up early and dedicating like the morning or like your prime hours to yourself it's supposed to make you feel like happier or like you're giving yourself quality time another benefit is that you're establishing discipline because you kind of already promised yourself or like told yourself that i'm gonna wake up at this time so by doing it you're fulfilling that promise to yourself so you're subconsciously believing that whatever you say you will do so because you woke up you feel like you trust yourself more or like you feel like fulfilled i don't know how to explain it um, what else it also makes you feel like you're better than other people not like that but it makes me feel like I'm awake while someone else is sleeping. Like, 
losers i don't know it's like a different type of energy when you're up at that time it also feels like fulfilling because like when you start your day off on the right foot it creates a domino effect for the rest of the day or to be honest the only bad thing i can see from waking up late is that sometimes i lose sleep and i don't feel like you should be losing sleep in order to just beat the clock and wake up at 5 a.m if i think about it i really can't find that many negatives about waking up at 5 a.m so like why not continue doing it I'm not gonna continue doing it every single day, but I would like to wake up between like 5 and 6.45ish, around that window. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed and see you very soon. Bye! Seja paredes falassem, no varia melhor testemunha ocular, mas a intimidade eu